Why can't we take the blue one? Well, let's take the big red dildo. I meant wrench. Hey buddies, go crazy, and we're back to another video. Today we're playing Rain Swept. Now, what really caught uh, my eye for this video, this this video, <laughs> well, I hope this video catches your attention, Jesus. <laughs> but uh, what really caught my attention with this game was, um, it was what was going on in it. This is a game, it's like a detective game, or that's what I saw from the page. Right now they only have this, um, well actually they updated the demo. So when I went to Game Jolt and stuff and I was looking around, I, I saw this game and um, apparently the minute they had the update, I, I saw it. I'm like, oh, sweet. It's like, what's this game? And I checked it out and it's, de it's cool detective work stuff. I swear, if I wasn't doing this, I would probably like one of my, um, I guess one of, one of the things I wanted to be when I grew up was probably like a detective. But sadly, I'm just not smart enough for that. I don't, I'm, <laughs> I just don't, I don't, I don't even, um. I, I can get nowhere near that shit because I know I'd fuck it up. But if I could be a detective, I would definitely, definitely be a detective. Anyways, that's kind of like what was going on, um, as I saw again on their page. Um, I think they have, um, like some type of a. Uh, I gotta see what it is actually. What the hell is it? <laughs> so they actually have an Indiegogo, which is kind of like um, some type of support thing where you can like give the money to the developers and to help create the game, to lock other different things uh, for for this actual game. So it's actually being worked on right now by several other, I guess several other people. But um, yeah. Anyways, I will leave all that stuff in the description down below. And another good thing is it works with my works with my shitty controller that was completely dusty because I left it on the shelf for so long. So I have a chance now to take it back because uh, for some reason my mouse just doesn't want to cooperate with me. Anyways, enough of my talking. I really want to get in this game. I really want to try it out and uh, I want to see what it's all about. So let's get right on in. <laughs> Monday, 12.14 a.m. October 7th, 1996. I was born in 1992. So that's like a couple years after that. That's not really close. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I, that's the end of the game, guys. Thanks for joining in. Ooh, doesn't look bad. Frostwood Interactive. Okay. I wonder what they made this in. I'm always so curious about, um, actually, another thing. If I wasn't a detective, I would probably be like, um, well, I actually did try to apply to some places who were actually, like, creating games and stuff. Like, I wanted to, like, it'd be so cool if I could do the art for it, the animations for it, because I can do that shit. Um, but they never get back to me. <laughs> like, those, those big company places, I've tried so hard with them. They just, as much applications that I put in, at this point I just do freelance work and um, that's what I'm happy with because at least I'm the boss of myself. They're not trying to tell me what to do. Anyways, back to the game. Rain swept. So yeah. Is this going to be like, um, what was that one game called? Crap, I don't remember the name of it. It's on the tip of my tongue though. Alright, so for this day. I guess we're gonna go, since we're a detective, are we gonna go and, um, see this guy who just killed himself? Yep, yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. Alright, let's run, dude. Terrible. What? I said terrible. Terrible business, all this. Business? I don't think there was any money involved in this, honey. Pa, this was only a matter of time. Everyone knows that. I know, still, they were so young. Oh, uh, talking about the person who died. Young and stupid, you mean? The stories I've heard. I guess you're right. It was just a matter of time. What? It was a matter. It was a matter of time. And you didn't get the person any help. So, are you what to fucking blame for? It's really coming down today. We should go back home. A few more minutes. I want to see what happens. Yes, I'm so bored with my life. I'd like to see other people suffer. And I'd like to see the tragic end at the end of the day. That's not going to happen. I'm going to catch a cold. That's all. Hey, buddy. What's going on? What's going on? You found a... Four-leaf clover? You lucky? That guy ain't lucky. Maybe you can be lucky. Can I, like, not talk to him? They've been here a while, it looks like. Now, why do what? You want to fix him? <laughs> I don't know the thing. Ma'am, please. You need to stay... You need to back away a little. What happened here? A murder? Johnny, get under the umbrella. Granny, I want to leave. Can I go back to the shop? Could see this coming a mile away. Wow, a lot of people don't give a shit about this guy. 
Uh, kind of like in re real life, people. They just don't give a shit. Ma'am, please. Granny, please. Granny, please. Don't, Granny. All right, Johnny, let's go. There's no point in standing here now. Wave her. <laughs> I knew this would happen. We should have done something. There's nothing we could have done. Chris is responsible, I'm so sure. It's hard to disagree, but let's not speculate. Detective Anderson. Mr. Anderson. I can't help but think of uh, Matrix. <laughs> uh, the chief is inside. They've been waiting for you. You need to control the crowd off. I mean, that was the only option I had. You need to push the crowd further from the scene officer. What? You have to speak up. I can't hear you over the rain. The crowd. Handle them. There could be evidence out here. We can't have the crowd trampling all over the evidence. Oh, yes. I'm trying. Hey. Hey, Williams. What the hell are you doing? Trying to pop up this tape, sir. It won't stay. Oh, you're pretty useless, aren't you, William? Gotta find that four-leaf clover. Maybe then you bring some luck to the investigation. Well, get some sticks and drive them in. Yes, sir, Richard. <laughs> Don't call me Richard. Richard on leave. Do it yourself. Goodness. Sorry, detective. Thing is, we're short of, uh, manpower here. Also, I don't like the box, like, I don't like the paste on boxes. It just seems, it seems really weird to, I just wouldn't design it that way. I, I probably, uh, with me, I probably do, like, a transparent, like, white box, like, very, like, light transparent white box, and then have the text in it, uh, like, not going on the way to edge. It's, it's annoying me. It's like, I want it in the middle the box, not like halfway off the box. We weren't prepared like that. Like, that's good. That's okay. I'm alright with that text now. We weren't prepared for this kind of thing. First time in decades. And to top it off, this rain, out of nowhere, just get the crowd out of control. I'm heading inside. Yes, detective. Don't worry. Richard! I mean, Williams! <laughs> Is there anything else I can do? Alright, well, there's nothing else I can do. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -ba -dum, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. <laughs> Uh, an open window. Hmm. I don't remember there being an open window. What's that? Hmm. Should I go in? Uh, let's look around for more. That's the way inside. I wonder why Chief sent me all the way to Pineview for this case. Only one way to find out. Alright, well, let's go on in. I don't see anything else that we need outside. No point hanging around out here. Oh, hell no. Well, it's not very, uh, it's not such a nice scene inside. Oh, God. How could you waste this much ketchup? I can't be serious. <laughs> it's just a game. Oh my god, it's a game. It's not serious. Ooh, is that Connor? Is that Connor and Hank? Hey, Connor, Hank. That's the sheriff. I should talk to him first. Okay, well, I, I could just not. I could just probably look around. Wait, so let me get the... Because he shot himself. So he must have killed these people and then he shot himself. I bet that's what he did. Not very professional. Hope they know what they're doing. They're wasting... Also, what's that? It says Chris something. 96? Chris 96 at the bottom right there. Michael? Huh? What? What's going on? Ugh! Detective, are you okay? Ugh, I think so. Yeah. I just fell in all this evidence. Don't mind me as I just waddle around like a seal <laughs> in water and all this blood. <laughs> Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> I started balking because, my, well, my real spirit animal is a chicken. <laughs> Guess I'm a little tired after the long drive here. Er, uh, Detective Anderson, right? I'm out of the office, called in to say that you'd be joining us here for a little investigation with, uh, I'm Hank and this is, uh, Connor. I swear they look like Hank. <laughs> I'm sure of Harris. Aw, oh, I'd be so great if it was. Oh, well. Only dreams, only dreams now. <laughs> I'm Sheriff Harrison, and this is Lieutenant Watts. We appreciate the department sending help, but, er, uh, I don't think we need, we'll need it. We appreciate the department sending help, but, okay, so. This case is ready to be wrapped up. Like a present. Like a nice, nice present. I'm sorry if I keep checking everything. I have to make sure everything's recording. I'm so on edge right now. <laughs> what do we have here? The victims here are Christopher Green, age 26, died from a bullet wound to the head. Looks self-inflicted. I'm... I just turned 26 not that long ago. Okay. Diane Miller, age 24. A single bullet wound through the Adam and the victim lived together were unmarried. Okay. Uh... I mean, I can already guess the weapon is a gun. Any witness? Um... 
Have it any witnesses? Did anyone see them? Or just the next door neighbor who claims to have heard a single gunshot. We can interview. Wait, a single gunshot? But it looks like their shot is weird. And why is the gun there when the guy shot himself in the living room? Since the next door neighbor claims to have heard a single gunshot, we can interview him shortly. Um. I mean, I can already see the weapon on the floor. I don't need that. Uh, was there any intruders? No signs of forced entry. The door was locked from the inside when we arrived. So, and the people outside, it sounded like they knew him. So, it doesn't sound like he would just, why would he intrude in his own house? I don't know. Uh, an officer climbed through the open window here to open the door. There are no footprints outside that window. Expect a... Expect the officers? What? He was careful. No signs of struggle or marks on the bodies either. Okay, um... What was the time? It pretty sure it was at midnight. Is it? Yeah, it was like 12 o'clock in the morning that happened, right? According to the next door neighbor, a single gunshot was heard at around, uh, 0015 hour. I don't know what that means. I'm dyslexic and I'm an artist. I don't- don't give me fucking numbers like I'm gonna understand what that means. Jesus Christ. We received the call about, uh, that number of hours and we were here in another five minutes. We found them dead upon- can you just give me no- just tell me. Just tell me what time it was. Don't give me fucking- no I hate it when people do that. I don't understand military time. I just don't understand it. We found them dead upon arriving and confirmed the timing. Uh, the weapon was obviously a gun. Both shots were fired from a M1, M1911A1 point of 45 caliber pistol. The ballistics report will let us know more. All right, well, there's nothing else I can ask. Honestly speaking, Detective, we think it's pretty obvious who's taken place here. What do you mean? They have a reputation that they weren't exactly a happy couple. The whole town knows this. Dan was shot at point-blank range with Chris's gun, probably by Chris. Then he uh, went ahead and shot himself as the wound is clearly self-inflicted. But was it in this place? I felt... I don't know. So you see, sending you here unnecessarily complicate things. Okay, why? I'm beginning to think it was a very good idea, in fact. Or, I am... Um, it's obviously a case of murder-suicide, Detective. So everything's figured out already? So we've already all figured it out already here. Hmm? If that was sarcasm, I'll ignore it. But yes, more or less. I er... Uh, but it's like... What, you're just gonna make up assumptions? You're not really gonna look into it more? There was like people outside asking questions? Uh, are you suggesting there was domestic violence involved? It would seem so. It was never reported, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. Okay, so maybe the guy... Okay, I guess the guy shot um, the girl or... Well, they said they weren't married, as I remember, so I guess he shot his golf girlfriend. Golf friend? His girlfriend? <laughs> I guess he shot his girlfriend and then he shot himself in the head. Um, so rumors. You may call it that, but, um, there was... Where is there smoke, there's fire. I'm not sure that... And they were never really able to fit in this town. They were new here. Moved in about six months ago. Never got out much. Didn't make many friends. We don't need to analyze the obvious detective. That would only be insufficient. Officer, Officer Blunt will assist you through the course of your work here. Hello, detective! Hi! And our, one more thing. We're looking to wrap this case up quickly and cleanly. We don't want to drag it if it can't be helped. Well, I wouldn't want to drag the bodies out either. I'm sorry I like literally like wanted to splash zone frenzy in the blood pool down there. We have an important festival coming around in a week's time, so you might... You might say this is a rather bad timing, so there's no need to go about complicating things, alright? Just get me a story that works and we can close this case quickly. Sarcastic reply. Yeah, sure. Can't wait to wrap this case up. Yeah, we really, really gotta wrap him. Er, yeah. Alright then, I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Okay, get the fuck out. Yeah, let's run. You better run. <laughs> Anyways, have a look around the room if you like. Come talk to me when you're done. And, hello. I can't tell if you're a guy or a girl. You just seem to kind of like... Are you just gonna follow me around like a little puppy? Alright, hmm, what's this? It's a dead woman! How about that? It's signed... Oh, yeah, I saw that! I saw that even before! I have a good eye, don't I? It's signed Chris96, someone's birthday, so... I guess it's the get dead guy and his name's Chris and he was born in 1996, right? Guessing Chris built some of the furniture around this house. Oh, so he built it himself? That's cool. 
gunshot to the stomach. The damage and the residue would suggest the shot was taken at point blank range. So like literally right at her, like close at her. Uh, the rules of the po out the possibility of her being shot from an open window. She would have been in the line of sight from the outside though. There's no mistaking it. The perpetrator would have to been inside the house to cause this kind of wound. Yeah, literally, so it must have been him because he shot himself afterwards, we saw. Whether that was Chris or someone else, it's hard to say at the moment. So this music is a test. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to click that again. I, well, I can't, I... Not very professional. I hope they know what they're doing. They're just standing around taking pictures. I can't even talk to this per this woman or whoever next to me. Um, the, okay, so that's a gun, a pistol, as the lieutenant said. It looks pretty old. It can hold seven rounds. There are four rounds still in here. That means three rounds were fired from this gun at some point of the time. If two were fired last night, where's the third? Was it used on some other day? The gun belongs to Chris, according to... I guess that's a guy on the floor. Um, let's assume Chris or Diane weren't the ones to use it. Is there anyone else that could have known where they kept the gun? From behind you? I really doubt it. Remember, no signs of forced entry. Could it be s someone they were comfortable with or trusted? No one I can think of. Hmm. Okay. Well, we heard that guy outside. It's a box of 20 rounds. There are 13 here, which means 7 are missing. 2 were used last night. There are four left in the gun, as we saw earlier. Stop giving me numbers, Jesus Christ. Two were used last night. There's still one accounted for. Was that used on some other day? I guess so. So let's look at it. Bullet wound to the head. The skull is badly damaged. Most of the side has been blown off. Okay, by the way, I just want to let you know. Um, when you're shot in the head, I mean, well, I've seen someone shoot, like, up here. Your whole entire head blows out. So the way the head is shot right there, I think, like, the skull, like, there'd be more ripped flesh, and you would actually see the brain at that point. Because, um, I know this sounds a little weird, but I've seen, like, actual, like, death videos like that, so it doesn't... I'm just being really picky here now, aren't I? <laughs> um, his body position and the way he fell would indicate that he was sitting sideways on the chair facing where her body was, okay? Angle of the shot indicate that he was shot from the side. If someone shot him, they were standing in front of the refrigerator. No clues here, though. He could have been shot from the window at the moment. It's sh at the moment, it's shut. Must go get it checked for fingerprints and footprints outside. Now, if you're a Connor, you can just lick that shit up and you get it right on. <laughs> could someone have entered through, uh, entered and left through here? We should have the fingerprints result in a couple of days, detectives. Don't forget there aren't any footprints outside. Someone shot him from outside, then Chris would have sat facing the refrigerator. There's a lot of information, okay? That would make sense. The way the killer would, wouldn't would need to enter the house. But in that case, who shot... Well, he must have shot her point-blank range. It doesn't make any sense. Hmm, gunpowder. Registered in his right hand, so he shot himself. Hard to disagree that it was tenant here. This is strong evidence for the victim shooting himself. Unless it was made to look that way. I mean, we saw, I saw, like, what happened in the beginning. He obviously shot himself. I saw him lift his arm to shoot himself, so. Chair's fallen on his back. Looks like Chris fell off the chair before or after being shot. Okay. What's in here? Oh, okay. This is all the same stuff. Hmm. What am I looking at? Red wine. It looks like a new bottle was opened yesterday. No one drank from this glass. It would seem that Chris was sitting by himself at the table and drinking wine, waiting for someone to join him. Probably Diane? Whether he was waiting for her or someone else, we don't know yet. Glass of wine was knocked over. Looks like wine, but there seems to be blood on here as well. Maybe he was having an affair and why they didn't get along that well, because she was suspecting him. And, uh, I don't know. I'm just throwing out shit here. How did, did bl uh, blood splatter in this direction? It doesn't make any sense. Officer Blunt. Mr. Blunny Blunt, um, I think there's been more than two gunshots that we're seeing here. Huh. 
Can I not do anything else? So what do I do if I talk to him? Shall we proceed? Well, I don't know what else I can do. Um, I'd like to have another look around this room. Alright, tell me when you're done. That's Chris. That's her. She was shot at point blank range. Uh, it just seems like he was sitting at the table waiting for someone. Maybe it was her and he just shot her out of frustration. I got no clue, but hey, let's just go for it. Yes. Yes, I'm done. Alright, let's have a chat with Mr. Wills outside. The rain has finally let up. <sighs> cancer, cancer, lovely cancer. Hey, thank you. Let me, let me get a little of that. Thank you, little minion. Right, this is Mr. Wills. Uh, he lives right next door. Okay, so that's the guy. All right, coffee detective? Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, you can ask him any questions he may have uh, had. You may have about last night. Right, Mr. Wills. Uh, yeah, I'm busy working on my cancer. I don't have enough time to drink. Could they tell me everything that you saw or heard during last night's event? Well, see, I headed off to bed at around 11 p.m., as you, I usually do, after a wine of whiskey. Helps me sleep, you know. Anyway, somewhere around 12.15 a.m., I'd say I was awoken by a loud bang. Was that exactly the time? Okay, well. I ran to my bedroom window uh, that looked straight down at their place. And what did you see? Nothing. Their kitchen lights were out, but that's about it. Wait, but I remember in the cutscene they were on. The lights were on. I went to the phone and called Lieutenant Watts here straight away. You said you heard one gunshot. You said you heard a single shot. Yes, the whiskey usually knocks me out pretty good, so if there's been more, I didn't hear him. Uh, did you see anyone out on the streets? Did you see any activity on the street? Anything unusual? No detective. Everything exactly the same as always. How long did it take you to get to the window? Um, what you had a shot? About a couple of seconds, detective. No more than five, I'd say. I nearly fell out of bed when I heard the shot, so you might say I was halfway there already. Alright, so, um, any other information you'd like to share? Er, I don't know if they're useful, but you might have heard about Chris and Diane. They look pretty happy when they first move in. More recently, though, I heard Diane crying, crying, Diane crying a couple of times, usually late at night. So the whiskey knocked me out early, so maybe that's why I never heard all this before. But a couple of times, I was up a little later. One night, about a a month ago I heard pretty bad things there were some loud screams like stuff being flung around such sea I heard someone crying and I was thinking to myself that maybe I should call the police but then it quieted down all of a sudden we never received any calls from a dom domestic violence yeah because people don't give a shit but people have often talked of stories of this kind can you remember when you heard this well I was up late uh, up late night writing an important letter. I think it must have been somewhere around the first to third last month. First to third September? Alright, anything else? No, that's all I know about this. Right, thanks for your help, Mr. Wills. We'll be in touch if we need anything else. No problem, and uh, thanks for the coffee. Oh, wait, I wanted to ask the other... I don't really go in order with the questions. Fuck, I wanted to ask more. Well, I think that's cleared a lot of things up. It has? Oh, come on, detective. You're supposed to be good at these things, aren't you? Mr. Wales didn't see anything outside the house after her gunshots, and there are no signs of anyone forced entry either. On top of that, considering how rough things were between the two of them, heard that Mr. Wills said, right? We don't... Yeah, we don't have the complete picture yet. The amount of information we have as of now is very little. It's not the complete picture. Yeah, it sounds like domestic violence, but it sounds like there might be something more around it. I don't know. We need to dig deeper if we want to know the truth, um, and not just confirm our assumptions. Well, what? What about the door, huh? How was it locked from the inside? Explain that. I checked the door. It locked itself from the inside when you pull it closed, regardless of whether you pull it from the outside or push it from the inside. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm saying that there's no conclusion evidence yet. Well, fine then. Dig as deep as you like, detective. You won't find anything new here. I was perfectly capable of handling the case, this case myself, but of course, that department had to complicate things. In any case, Sheriff Harris, um, 
we'll probably want to wrap up this case before the festival. Don't so don't expect him to wait for uh, more than a week. By the way, I like to see like who is talking. I can't tell every single time. I think it's the guy, or I don't know if it's a girl, but I like it. They have like something that goes to them, you know, so like a speech bubble to them, so I know it's them talking. <laughs> Um, I had to head to the station now. Officer escort Detective Anderson to this hotel. Will do, sir. Well. It just sounds like... Okay. Well, come back to the evening to search the house. Letters, diaries, things of all sorts. Officer Blunt. All right. What can we expect the autopsy results? Day after tomorrow. According to the uh, coroner, but I'll confirm and let you know. Thanks, little robot. I'm guessing there were more than two bullets shot last night. But they only seem to hear one. We should take another look around the kitchen to make sure. Three bullets, but... Hmm. Yeah, because that's weird. Everyone said they only heard one shot. Which is really weird, because it's like, the girl got... Shot point blank range, so... We're actually glad that you, uh... That you're here, you know. Although the sheriff and Lieutenant Watts would rather not admit it. Even to themselves. This is like the first murder here in the last hundred years or so. We have no idea how to deal with it. Um, I mean... Yeah, that's a surprise. <laughs> Come on, detective. You don't need to be rude. I what? Anyways, I was just saying, uh, I just joined the force a month back, for instance. That's why you're a little bit quiet, now you're a little bit more active and talking to me. And a murder already? I'm not sure I'm ready for this. I... I kind of knew them, you could say. I've never known anyone that's been murdered before, you know. It's kind of weird. A bit sad. I mean, I don't know anyone who's been murdered either. Um, it would probably be pretty shocking to hear about. Like, I know, um, I know people who, like, I know more people who committed suicide than, you know. I don't even think I know a single person who's been murdered. Which is good! It's like, you don't want people... <laughs> The murder, you well, know, at that point after you're murder, you're not really a person. You're just kind of a psychopathic, like, monster. I know as an officer, I'm not supposed to feel that way and all. You'll be fine. Give it time. Thanks, detective. That means a lot. Tell me about Chris and, um... Yeah, tell me about them. What do you know about them? Well, not much. It's mostly what Mr. Will said earlier. But earlier, nobody knew them, really. Yeah, so they kept, kind of kept, like, the abuse in the house and they just never talked to anyone else. They came in here, kept to themselves, you heard stories about them, so everyone's talking behind their back. Everything, everyone knows, thought they were some kind of weirdos. I mean, I kind of agree with that sentiment, too. I feel bad about that now. It's no, it's no reason uh, to make assumptions about people's characters, and character can't be used as evidence. So, I'd really like to help figure out what the real story is, whatever it may be. What about the festival? The sheriff said that there's a festival in the town next week. What about that? Oh, it's an annual thing. We have it every October. There's a fair on the Market Street. There's food, rides. You in the story? You enjoy me reading the story out to you guys? Huh? <laughs> we get a lot of tourists from nearby states around that time. It's a good source of revenue for some of our small businesses here. That, of course, is less important in the, right, in the light of recent events. Good to hear you say that. Of course, we can go around trying to wrap up cases based on our assumptions, whatever that situation might be. I mean, those were people's lives that ended, and it's our job to figure out what really happened. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, you can count on me during this investigation. Thanks. Yeah, don't just give up. I don't like it when people just give up on shit, they just don't try, and they're just like, well, this must have happened, okay, that's it, case wrapped up. Like, I absolutely hate it when people do that. They don't think about the situation. They don't actually question it more. I hate... I just don't like it when people don't question By the way, I love the background with, like, the pe the peachiness and then, like, um... I just... I don't know. I just like the background. <laughs> it's like, oh, pink. And then it's all, like, my skin color. Except for my back. My back is the color of a lobster. Because <laughs> I got burned. And yes, I did use block. I used it twice and I still got fucking burned. Jesus Christ. Hoping the local police uh, will let me do the job I've been sent to do, though. Uh, I, I mean, they are letting you do it. They're just bitching about it. I don't mean you. Detective, I know what you mean. Honestly speaking, Sheriff Harris uh, is an asshole. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I'm serious. He doesn't care about anything except running off home and taking it easy. Yeah, it sounds like it. Mr. Harry Larry. 
Uh, this case probably ruined his plans to relax and enjoy the festival week. I hate people like that. Yeah, me too. It's like, especially if you're doing detective- Like, if you just don't want to do detective work, go find a different job. Like, if you don't want to- It's the same thing, like, if you're a medical- Like, if you're a person who helps people, like, in the hospital and stuff, and you just don't want to help a certain person, or you just don't like doing that, go find a different job. It's like, because you signed up for it, Jesus Christ. Um, Lieutenant Watts thought, though, he's really sweet. I know he comes across a little obnoxious, but... Oh my god. Oh. She came out of nowhere. God, it kind of reminds me of those ghost videos where, um... You ever see those weird videos? Um... I saw her. She was right there. Yeah, I saw her too. Have you guys ever seen those weird videos? Like, it's kind of like a niche... I guess, am I using that word right? I'm pretty sure I am. But, um, those niche videos, I'm just gonna call it niche, where, uh, people are driving on the road and they see, like, these creatures or, like, these ghosts, or I've even seen some, like, satanic, like, rituals. Someone drove into, like, a satanic ritual, like, on the road or two, but, yeah, that's, like, apparently, like, a thing. Um, some people call it on their, like, dash cams and stuff. Uh, why am I, why am I seeing her? Why am I thinking of her? So you're crazy besides for... You know, uh, besides we're working on that cancer. My poor car. Oh, your poor, poor little car. That would be dangerous. It sure would be. <laughs> Can I talk to you? So, his, uh, he said his name is Jack. Are you, like, talking to yourself out loud? Well, I'm doing that too. I guess I shouldn't really. I'm a hypocrite then, I guess. It's a good thing he was passing by when the crash happened. Oh, okay. Hello. How you doing? You look kind of uncomfortable. Don't you need the car to be on a ramp or something? Nah, man, you worry too much. Then it crushes his lungs. What's the issue with the car? Maybe because he crashed it. Well, the headlights and the bumper's gone. You need to leave. You ne you'll need uh, to have them replaced. I'm going to have it checked if I, I've got a replacement part so I can fix it. How long will it take you to fix it? A couple of days, three maybe, depending on how quickly I can get the parts. It should take more than... Uh, more than four days, at most. Oh boy. Oh biggity boy boy boy. Hey dude, can you fetch me my big red dildo? I meant wrench. It should be by the uh, toolbox outside. Alright, yeah, why not? You're amazing, bud. Thanks. I'll get you Bud Light later. Or we can work on cancer together. Jack's got us here. Uh, okay. What? Jack uh, got us here in that. Okay. I can't talk. <laughs> I think I'll wait for my car to be fixed instead. Is this your toolbox? I got a toolbox in my room, too. This could be the toolbox, Jack Mansion. I don't see another toolbox. Let's see what's in here. Take the big red... Why can't we take the blue one? Well, let's take the big red dildo. I meant wrench. Oh, oh shit. Don't freeze on me, game. Okay. Hey, I got it for you, buddy. Here you go. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this wrench. Oh, I bet you do, buddy. You like lubing it up in the, you know, garage and stuff. Um. Ask about the tar and shovel. I don't know what that is. The red convertible there. Is that? Oh, yeah, over there. Yeah, man, that's a 1965 Mustang. I love that ride. I got it used for pretty cheap off a guy who couldn't take care of her anymore. Lucky the car's got something that keeps it running like new now. That big red dildo. Please tell me more about it. That big red wrench. You know, that's pretty... That uh, red wrench is pretty awesome. But it's nothing if it's not uh, got someone who can make it work. Me? Well, I bet you work it pretty hard on it, girl. I spent all my free time on her. Hey, this is really getting more and more suggestive. I'm just kidding around, but now he's making it more suggestive, and I don't know what to think of this anymore. It's okay if you're into that stuff, but I mean, it's... <laughs> fixing... Her up and making sure she runs better than me? Okay. You know what? And I keep her happy by taking her on long, beautiful drives on the roads outside. Okay, this is getting really fucking weird. <laughs> um, ask about tar and shovel. You got a shovel and some tar there. What do you use those for? Er, that dude, I just use that to bury all my problems. Don't worry about them, though. They're all gone. <laughs> I do a bit of construction work on the side sometimes. Yeah, construction work uh, on the woods alone. You know, fixing up driveways and stuff for extra, some extra cash. I wonder if this guy has anything to do with the murder of those two. Well, we got nothing else to ask. Detective, you're here investigating Diane's murder, right? He went right to that. And and Chris, yes. 
Do you have any information that could help us? I don't know about... I don't know about information, man. I just know that he did it. What do you mean? Chris, he killed her. He immediately jumped the gun when I brought the... Did you know them? Do you know Chris and Diane well? Not really. People here barely did. They were not the kind to come out and make friends with their neighbor, new neighbors. It's like that. They still feel like outsiders to the rest of us. Why do you say it like that? I everyone could see it coming. Well, everyone did say it. So Dan, they say she was troubled, scared of him even. Someone in the town should have done something. We all knew this could happen, but no one cared enough about them to bother interfering. How do you know all this? Um, I don't know. Rumors around town mostly. What were you doing last night? I? What was I doing last night? Yes, that's what I asked. I... Oh, right! I drove a couple miles from here and, uh, go, drove a couple miles here with my, uh, big, big fancy wrench. And, uh, uh, drank a few beers while I was enjoying the view and, you know, we just, I just went down on my wrench, man. At night? Yeah, the stars, man, you see? You acted a little bit weird. Uh, was there anyone... With you, besides for your beautiful baby wrench you like to take a ride on? Did you meet anyone? Nah, man. There's nothing like the pleasure of your own company sometimes. Or pleasuring yourself on your wrench. If you know what I mean. Tighten the bolt. The big old bolt. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, thanks for your help, Jack. Uh, we shall be back if we have any more questions. Of course you will. What do you mean, Jack? For your car, man. Come back when it's fixed. You get way too serious. Way too fast, man. Chill out! I mean, he's got it right. Yeah, let's look at this. Let's look at your baby. Oof, what a beauty. I wonder if it's Jack. Yeah, it is. We just talked to him about it. Man, I'd love to, but I don't think Jack would appreciate me doing that. Is there like any that? Okay, so there's apparently nothing else out there. I guess I can go talk to my partner. Hey, partner. <laughs> yeah, actually, I didn't look at this stuff. Hmm, tar shovel. wonder what Jack... Well, I mean, we just talked to him, so... I mean, I don't... Alright, well, I guess I can talk to you now. Jeez, I hope she's not hurt. Nah, she's fine. Hey, hi. Are you okay? Yeah, sure, you are? Yeah, I'm fine, surprisingly. I'm just standing in front of you, to, uh, like, talking to you while my back is turned to you. Um, sorry for the accident. I'm really sorry about that crash. I didn't know what was- It's alright, especially since we're okay. Something else worries me, though. What's that? What happened back there? How did we hit that tree? Um, I saw a woman in the middle of the street. I guess you- I sneezed. I think the brakes failed. Um, let's go with that. I think the brakes failed. The brakes are A-OK, -okay, Detective. Thanks, Jack. It wasn't the brakes. You saw something and you screamed. Are you okay? Just generally? I mean, I don't know you so... Also, nice way to, like, call me out, Jack. Fuck you. Uh, I mean, I don't know you, so I don't know if there's a regular thing. No offense. Nah, that's okay. I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, you collapsed back there at the crime scene. Like, you literally went... It, you run directly into the puddle of blood, and you're like, or, or, or. <laughs> and then this. Yeah, I don't know. I've been a little dizzy all day. Maybe I just need a nap. Seeing this kind of stuff kind of bums me out. Mm. I'm just saying, if there's anything wrong, you can talk to me about it. Don't hesitate. Uh, hesitate. Don't talk to people about this shit. You'll be put behind a bars, or you'll be put in a white room, and they'll never fucking let you go. Don't. Don't talk about this stuff. Um, okay. Detective! Your cars are murdered! <laughs> I'm gonna drive to the, ne uh, the next town for some spare parts. Want me to drop you to the hotel or something? Hmm, I'd like to take a walk around the town first, actually. I called up the station for Jack's phone. A car is on the way. They'll drop us off at the Market Street and your luggage at the hotel. You take care now, dude. Until we meet again. Until we meet again, Jack. Jack jacking it with his lovely red wrench on a roadside journey. <laughs> Here we are, the famous Pine View Market. Okay, dot dot dot. I'm kidding, nothing much to see here really. Yeah, I mean, you only have like little, little stuff up. So, let's see if we can talk to some of the locals here. Alright, it's very, it isn't very busy at the time of the day, but there should be a few people out there. If you get tired and feel like heading to the hotel, let me know. Nah, I'm just gonna take a rest on the bench, you know? Don't worry about me. <laughs> we can come back here and talk to them another day. 
Okay, all right. Well, I think I'm going to stop this here for now. Um, I think I'll do another part to this because it is still a demo. It's not the full game yet. And I do want to see what's going to happen next. It just seems to be like a lot of story, a lot of talking, a lot of me doing the talking for you guys. It's like I'm reading your little book to bed and adding my own commentary to it. Very lewd commentary to, <laughs> commentary to it. But anyways, you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to play this game yourself, try it out. Anything else like that, uh, get some of the other questions. I, I like to skip around. I don't like going in order for questions. But if you want, to, guys want to try to get that question, figure out um, anything else. Uh, you can go on and play the, the game down in the description down below. Um, I'll also put like um, like Kickstarter or anything else like that that, they, uh, that the guys, um, that the people who are making this game have down there. Obviously, in linked to the game jolt. To play the game and stuff like that, yada yada yada. I also do a charity once a month, so if you want to uh, suggest me one, donate to the one I currently have in the description down below, or um, you know, just share it around, that'd be really awesome of you guys to do. As well, really gotta end this video here, but thank you so much for watching. Here's a hug, bad, bad, day, anything like that, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Bye.